chronically homeless person. I've been homeless like basically my entire life. This is around like high school, like I started, you know, experimenting with drugs and alcohol. So I've been pretty much living the, re the reckless lifestyle since I can remember, and I'm almost 50, <laughs> which drives me crazy at night. Um, so I've kind of successfully gotten myself up to like where I get like one paycheck to the next, and then eventually I just lose that paycheck. I don't know if that's like a common experience that a lot of people have, but unless you put on top of that that you don't have your family, you just end up going homeless of a bunch. So uh, as a homeless person, I got involved with like, you know, hopping trains, hanging out with, uh, that sounds loud when I'm like right there. <laughs> uh, I, got, I got involved with like hopping trains and hanging out with gutter punks. We all see them. You know where they are, right? I'm in New York. <laughs> I'm not like some little bit. Uh, so um, I was around that culture. And uh, so, so I started like in the early 90s when the, you know, I started to, I consider an anarchist, nihilistic community that grew up in, you know, when, when the uh, factories started closing across the countries, as we all seen happen. Um, and uh, so I started hopping trains at a young age. Um, I continued throughout the years. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, that, that, that brings me to like, how I found my dog. I was hopping a across, uh, I, I hopped out uh, trains from, see, it had, to be, it had to be New York, actually, Syracuse, to, um, to Chicago. I, I was right there in the morning, and so on the southernmost tip of uh, Chicago's right of life, what we call the bar yard, the bar train yard. It's about, she's uh, it's on 135th Street, and you figure the city is, you know, normal, not under numbers, and we're in the Midwest, so the blocks are longer than they are here. <laughs> anyway, so like, I ended up, like, like, me and my friend got off the train, and we ended up uh, walking north about like three and a half blocks, and I run into this guy, who like worked for the city, and he's out there mowing the lawn like they do. <laughs> so I guess I trying to tell and uh, what, what he, what I, he stopped me because I was walking with my friend. My friend had a dog, and he's like, "There's a there's a dog like a, about a block back that way. Uh, she's been there for about a week and a half. Uh, I think this is like how a lot of uh, homeless people find our dogs. Is homeless people find homeless pets? And I think that's like something that you got to keep in mind." So I went back there and there, and I saw this like eight month old dog. She's ten now, so it was a long time ago. So I, <laughs> uh, she was she was uh, about like twenty pounds in her weight, maybe thirty pounds in her weight. I don't know what its weight is, but she had put this big pit bull head, <laughs> just tied to a fence that she couldn't get off. There was also a lot of um, you know, it, it, it was it was difficult. And uh, so what we did was we got her a bunch of water, and I, I you know, tried to untie her, but she bit me. <laughs> she's smart. <laughs> she's like, I don't want to think of that guy. <laughs> but I, I did end up getting her untied. We, we, I introduced her to my friend's dog who was with us. So we walked up and we're like, hey, what's up? And the, the, the dog started wagging tails. Now you see her, she's a little bit grumpy about me and other dogs, but back then she was not, it hadn't had as much like bad communication with dogs at that point because she was a little puppy. So we got her uh, we got her untied and like she caught like the little zoomies that she had been like un un untied, untethered from this, you know, tree in the middle of nowhere. Yeah I'm talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, so I decided like because of her obvious colorings and you know the energy that she was named gonna be named coffee. Yeah. And so uh, that's how she got her name. It's also my drug of choice. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I kind of got, got together and got, got my dog and I'm bound to like how to like, you know, hop trains and also be like a dog on the street. Because you have to have like certain skills to get out on the street. Why? You gotta be friendly, but also like protective. Mm -hmm. You gotta learn how to hide from the cops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, a very serious thing is like, you know, I've been in abandoned buildings where the cops break in. My dog doesn't bark. How many of you guys got that on you guys? <laughs> so, um, so I got I got her trained and I got her ready to hop trains with me, which is actually like a hard thing to do. I don't know. Like, trains are hard to explain to people who you know don't hop trains, which is most people. But when you're on that train, you got the the front engine, right? It's tied to a bunch of cars. Now it's not like the subway. The subway 
they, get, they send energy to all the cars and all the wheels move at once. On a train, you're basically stuck there, like waiting for it to get pulled by the engine. So what happens is what we call slack action. This is like where train hoppers die when they fall off trains and stuff is from this. This is where it gets real dangerous. So that, that jolt is really, really like something that I can prepare for and understand, but I don't think my dog, even to this day, knows what it is. So uh, when I got her ready to hop a train like this, I took her out to, um, you know, get a lot of treats together. And I play music, so I'm able, and I was in Chicago, so I'm able to put money together pretty well, which is, a, it's a lucky thing to have a talent when you're homeless, but even people who are not homeless and don't have a talent, they also deserve some help too. So, um, so I was really lucky to, 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 to get enough money to take her to the, to the train yard, really, really set up and prepared. And uh, I got her, you know, the best dog treats, the wet food, <laughs> the, the, all the special things that dogs need to prepare for this thing. And I, I think I over-prepared, you know? Because when the train took off, she didn't give a fuck. <laughs> 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 I was like, man, she's gonna freak out. No, 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 she's, she's a brave dog. Um, me and my dog have also been through some other experiences. There was this one time where me and my friends were crossing the street, and there was an asshole driving with the lights on. Basically, almost like, and my dog was off the leash at the time, so I let off the leash when we're walking along sometimes. And I was lucky I did this time, because my dog, my friend, like, well, what happened was, like, I saw this guy, and I heard this thunk. And I was like, oh my god, my dog's dead. And I, 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 you know, totally fucking would be a crushed person at this fucking point, but... Now I turned over and was my friend got hit by the car. Because he had thrown the dog out, out of the way of this dog. Aww. So, yeah, so that, that's a good guy. He's in the city right now, too, if you've ever seen him. His name's B.O.B. Um, you know, I, I had to go and get my, my dog fixed, which is like a thing you have to do. If you, you know, don't want puppies, which I don't. I also don't like blood all over me, which you know, dogs would bleed. <laughs> <laughs> so I was able to like uh, go to my friend's house in, in uh, Michigan. Uh, it was it was a uh, it was a nice trip. I stayed up there for a while. I hooked up with an organization in the city. I don't know what it was called, but they they gave out a reduced fare for homeless people in the city to get dogs. So there's like there's help help all over the place for people who are homeless with dogs. But it's important that we actually just like pay attention to these things because like people have dogs, they're not gonna get rid of their dog just because you think it's like the best thing for a homeless person to do. Like they end up being homeless because they're not doing like the best things for everything, you know? They're not really thinking about it. Um, so yeah, this is all like, I, I wrote this by not kind of following it at all. Um, <laughs> Anyway, a little bit of my dog's personality. Um, you know, now that me and my dog have been around each other, we've been through a ton of adventures together, and I think they've all been like really great. There was this one time I was uh, sleeping in the up by the river, uh, the Schuylkill River in uh, Pennsylvania, and the sprinklers came on, and that was a big adventure for my dog. Uh, <laughs> that's the time uh, she jumped in the river, and uh, there was there was a, a little cliff there, and so I had to you know play rescuer and go down the fire. Hi, a rescuer. Uh, and there was a time where we went to an abandoned shed and a raccoon jumped out. And that was a great adventure. And of course, the greatest adventure, the night she discovered skunk. <laughs> and I decided, you know, I like sharing these blankets with this person. <laughs> I, I have been arrested with my dog on a couple of occasions. I think most, the most kind of, I, I don't know if you guys know but most people get arrested sometimes. Okay. <laughs> so sometimes it's deserved, but sometimes, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, this particular time I was uh, next to not, I was uh, arrested for next to nothing. Uh, and I had only stay like one night in jail. That's a good sign that a homeless person is really being arrested for nothing is when they only released the same day. But uh, my dog wasn't able to be released the same day because she wasn't, uh, she wasn't, she didn't have her uh, shot records or her, her tag, which is a huge problem. Some things we have to get to her. So, um, so I had to go to the, to the uh, police station and try to get her, try to get her out. But they couldn't release her, to, yeah, because like, of the tags. So I had to wait until she was released, a week until she was released to, to the Humane Society. So I was uh, lucky enough to end up in a place where, um, where I was 
like like familiar with the area, and I was able to go and make enough money to get my dog out of out of the main site, which costs one hundred and fifty dollars, which isn't cheap for me. I don't know, maybe for some people it is. But I got I got really lucky and was able to get her out without that much of a hitch. Um, and that's that's really like like you know for this for the days where I was getting that together, I didn't eat, I didn't you know I didn't do anything basically except for work on getting that money together for my dog, which I think is like you know that that's the connection that we have with them. You will really sacrifice everything for them. Um, now as I've gotten older and settled down, my dog's gotten old too. <laughs> I decided that you know I just can't really handle this life. I'm, I'm I'm tired of it. It's a young man's game. Hopping trains is for young people. Being a gutter punk is for young people. You know I'm I'm getting too old for it. And I, I decided like I need to settle down. And like that puts together like questions like how do you how are you where are you gonna find a place where you can both uh, get into a shelter and have a dog? Because an absolute question that you have to ask yourself and you have to like you know go online and try to figure that out. I guess is the best way to do it. It would be nice to get together a database. Just saying, like that'd be something to, to like maybe think about is like databases for uh, homeless for people where they can get homeless, and also like make it so like the homeless people can communicate between each other because they can find out like good programs. Well, most homeless people do have phones. It's it's a little thing we do. <laughs> it's 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 the it's the future. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, and uh, with the pandemic here, I really, I really did think about like uh, settling down. And obviously, like, if I couldn't like keep my dog in a shelter, I just wouldn't go in a shelter. That's just that would be the option for me. I'd be like, my dog will eventually pass away. Maybe I can get shelter then. Um, I'd rather, I'd rather spend you know my the rest of my dog's life with her that I can. You know, we, I found her. I was lucky to find her. So I, I started working with an organization here called Breaking Ground. Um, they have a they have a, a a lot of shelters within the area and also some uh, housing through CUCS breaking ground kind of like the different organizations around here and uh, worked to get my ID I think the whole time my dog just like kept me company she was in my uh, my room with me you know uh, without her I, I it's hard to leave my house sometimes it really is I get so nervous about just being out in the world. Uh, by myself, feel like kind of uncomfortable around people. If, you, if I feel like way more comfortable with my dog, like having give me an excuse to talk to somebody than just like running around going like, oh, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, so so now we got in our, our place. I have um, on my own place now, which took me a year to get. So the housing package. Thankfully, New York has like one. Some of the I would say some of the strongest like housing uh, for for homeless people in the country. Obviously, there's waiting lists, and that's a, that's always going to be a problem. There's always going to be more homeless people than there are houses. But I, I am grateful that there was you know that I was able to, to go through go go from outreach, get my dog her ESA papers, get um, me like just interested enough in, in getting my life together, which has always been a problem too, which probably without the dog, I probably wouldn't do it. <laughs> uh, and, you know, we went through the pandemic, we went through, through all, everything together, and I don't know, I, that's it, that's me. Yeah. Yeah.